We're entering a cost of living crisis. Electricity and gas prices are going up ridiculously high, ridiculous amounts of increases all over the place. People are understandably very worried about how they're going to heat their homes and we need constructive assistance. Ovo Energy decided to give some recommendations and uh, guidance on what to do if you have trouble paying your gas and electricity bills. And to say it's uh, insulting is a bit of an understatement. How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Wednesday. Hope you're doing all right. I certainly am myself. Well, let's have a look at this gas and electricity situation, shall we? Ovo Energy, the third biggest energy supplier in the country currently. Well, they had some good advice, didn't they? That uh, came out of the woodwork for people that couldn't afford to heat their homes. They thought cuddling your cat or doing star jumps would be a good idea to keep warm. Well, what if you don't have a cat? What if you've got a goldfish? And uh, my 85 year old mother-in-law was trying to do star jumps and only managed half of one. How bloody ridiculous. We obviously know how crazy that advice was and not helpful at all. And I think uh, Stephen Fitzpatrick, the founder of Ovo Energy has actually realised what a massive own goal it is for the PR of the firm, as in not very good PR at all. Have a look what he had to say. I think effectively what he was trying to say was, I'm sorry we upset you with our crap advice and somebody at Ovo Energy was having a bad day before they sent that email out. Who knew? Well, I hope that person has a good rest of the day knowing full well that they've upset a large portion of the nation. While we're on the subject of Stephen Fitzpatrick, he's worth millions, over 600 million to be precise, and heating and powering his own home costs a small fortune every month. A lot of these millionaires, Alan Sugar's another one who I think started his career selling aerials out the back of an ice cream van. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they all start at the rock bottom and work their way up. So they might have some distant idea in the past about what it's like to actually struggle and scrimp and save from one day to the next. But 850 quid a month to you know, fuel the mansion, that's ridiculous. And you can imagine scaling that down to a normal house what a struggle the rest of us are going to face. This is a real problem. It's a real problem and it needs fixing now. Not yesterday, not tomorrow, now. We need that help. And uh, it's only going to get worse. I feel sorry for so many people, I really do. But star jumps and cuddling the family cat ain't the answer. Toodaloo.